What if we made AI create Flappy Bird, but then we said make the game better over and over and over again? What does the game look like at prompt 1 versus 5 versus 10 versus 20, so on and so forth? Our prompt is pretty simple here. Create a Flappy Bird inspired game, include a version number like 1.0.0. And we can see here it says it sounds like a fun project. We are working on iteration version 1. And we can see our Flappy Bird is being coded on the right here. and we can see what it looks like. We have something called Flappy Block. So we can press space to jump and it feels pretty natural and we can go through these pipes. And this is kind of a boring Flappy Bird game, but we can make it better. So literally make it better. I'm going to keep telling Gemini to make it better, and we're going to see what the game looks like after 1, 5, 10, so on and so forth. So we can see here that is a great request and the game has definitely room for improvement. So we're gonna have better animations, we're gonna have visual polish, so we're gonna have a moving ground layer, pipes with caps, so the pipes are gonna look a little bit better because we can see they're looking a little bit flat there, and difficulty scaling. So now let's start our game, and okay, hold on a second. Uh, game? Okay, okay, so I'm just I'm just bad, bad. I, I can do this, all right, so. All right, so it, it is pretty hard. Although the game is starting to look a little bit better, a little bit harder to play, but let's put make it better again, and we're going to see it is loading here. And this time around, it says the game is going to utilize Firebase and authentication upon loading, and it's going to have high score tracking with game over feedback. So we're already starting to integrate user accounts right off the second make it better. Wasn't expecting this. And you can see there is an error. I'm going to hit fix error. Anytime a fix error comes up, that does not count towards the make it better counter. You can see here we have Flappy Block version 2, and our game is starting to look a lot better. And it is actually playable, and it looks and feels pretty good. So I'm going to put in my third make it better. I'll be back at the end of five make it better prompts. And we're going to see where a Flappy Bird game is from prompt one to prompt five. All right, so let me get you caught up real quick. Version three implemented leaderboards and scores. Version four implemented sound effects and particle effects on explosions. Version five had the flappy block because it's a block, not a bird, based off the game that it was creating. You can add your own custom colors. And then it also updated the particle effect. So the particles match the color of your bird and the colors also match for your leaderboard. So this is what the game looks like. Five prompts in, we can see our our global leaderboard, which is me with one point, and we can hear it. We can see the little particle effects, and you can hear a sound effect when you die. Let me try to get through one pipe for you. Five minutes later. So you hear the little sound effect as you go through. It's like boop, boop. Make it better again. This is prompt number six. I'll be back at 10. So version six, we added scrolling cloud. Version seven, we added a whole brand new power up feature. And the first power up we got was double points. And then version eight, it's like, hey, we need more power ups and start getting a little worried. It's a, just going to focus on power ups throughout the remainder of all the make it better requests. And it added a blue shield, allowing you to be invincible to pipes for Period, short period of time and then version 9 it went to a day and night cycle based off your score and then version 10 was moving pipes that move up and down now but you have to get a score of 30 for that to even kick in so i don't think i'll ever get that considering my best score is 2 currently so let's check out the game now the main menu looks roughly the same so let's give this a go okay listen this is embarrassing they, they made the game very hard, in my defense. I'm just gonna throw it out there. All right, for real. Oh, we got the score, look at that. Three, four, five. Anyway, we're going to put in Make It Better again. This is number 11, and I'll be back at 15 to show you the progress. So this video just got a lot more fun. We got this immersive content redacted for brevity problem, and I can't fix it. It just keeps cutting off the code. So we're going to go back a step. We're going to copy all of this code here and we're going to bring it over to VS Code. So this video went from just Gemini to now Gemini and Claude, and I'll probably mix in Codex at some point, ChatGPT's version, just because. So we're going to spread the wealth around. But just so you know, the first like 13 iterations is just Gemini, and now we are going to use Claude. 
So we can already see it's saying, hey, we need to make it mobile responsive to make it better. We're going to add pause functionality. We're going to enhance the UI and add sound toggle controls. All right. So just for your own knowledge, now, if you hit level 50, the pipe will actually shrink and expand. So it's not just moving up and down, where it is also a score animation update. So if you go through the pipes, it should show like a nice little animation. That was iteration 12. On iteration 13, we have layered cloud movement. So the game should look a lot nicer and there is more enhanced depth to the game. We have 14 where they added wind and then wind audio. And that was the end of Gemini. That's when Gemini said, no, I had enough. I'm not doing more than 14. And now Claude Code at 15 added mobile responsiveness, improved visual effects with better animations. I don't know what that looks like yet. We're going to check it out in just a second. Pause functionality and a sound toggle for controls. And the game looks like this. So I don't know what happened to our high score system, but here we go. Also not working, you can see, and the pipes are a little bit glitchy, but hey, this is iteration 15 and we can see the progress we are making. So there's actual like a little wind thing that popped up. We can pause the game, which I don't know how you pause like mid game. Let me, let me try to like get up in the air and then we'll pause it. So we'll see if we can do that. Nope, pause does not work. Can we mute it? No, the mute doesn't work either. So they're just like nice little things that exist, but they don't really exist. So the wind is going backwards now. All right, just like before, we're gonna do five more iterations. I'll be back at 20. All right, so listen, we're at a point in the game where Claude is saying Flappy Bird version six, legendary edition. It's not just a game, it's a masterpiece, a browsing game that rivals premium mobile titles. So you be the judge. No idea what they added yet. So this is what the main score looks like now. There's like a full screen button that doesn't work. There's a sound toggle that doesn't work. We have difficulty, so there's that. There's like FX and performance and there's a daily challenge thing going on. Does this rival real professional games with half broken features? Let me know in the comments below. Let's start the game and um, Okay, so I reached level two for dying. So there's that. Uh, I like the little rounded circle thing. And this is on normal. Okay, we're level three now. So I guess we just get levels like XP for just playing, I'm guessing. Listen, the game's a little bit broken. I'm smashing the keyboard. I don't know if you can hear it, but the game doesn't seem to be functional in the sense of like playing. And there's a lot of really broken features, but staying true to the video, make it better. We'll be back at 30. Here's what our game looks like at 30. So we have easy, normal, hard, insane. Our full screen still doesn't work. Our sound doesn't work. It added a settings menu that doesn't work. So all these buttons are kind of fake. As far as I'm concerned, we have all these different modes. I wonder if they make any difference. Let's hit start game and we can see what this looks like. We have a nice little particle effect behind the block that you can see, which is kind of cool. The Sound effects are still the same. Let's see if we can actually get through a pipe. Here we go, score times two. And we have a streak, we have levels. It's starting to come together if we had some of the other features actually working, but let's get back to work with make it better. And this time around, I will be back at 50. So we're gonna jump up a little bit. That's a lot of prompts back and forth. A lot of this takes a lot of time to prompt it. And if you guys are enjoying this, please definitely subscribe to cover AI on a daily basis. Love to know what game do you want to see next? If you enjoy this type of video, I'm kind of having fun with this. So drop that comment down below. I'll be back at 50. All right. So it's been a very long time to get here, but we have the most feature rich browser game created ever. And the game is actually starting to look a little bit better, at least from the initial UI. I haven't played with it too much. I know that the volume works, the full screen thing works now. And when you click settings, there is all this like theme option similar to before, but it just seems to actually work a little bit better. We can also change the shape of the bird so we can click star. We can also choose the particle effect. So say we want stars to follow our bird, we can do that. And we still have our mode. So we're on easy stars and a star. So yellow star star. Okay. Get the idea. Now let's hit play and we can see we have our little star now. So we can actually see what our star looks like and coming out of our star is little stars. So we're making some good progress here. There is also this like coin thing. There's a level so we can see our score. We can see a chain. We can see our average score. There's starting to get some pretty cool statistics and we can see the background change. We can see the combo. It's 
the game's actually starting to come together. So this is 50 props. This is 50 times saying, hey, make the game better. 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 You get the idea, right? So we're going to jump up to 100, which is going to take me a very long time. But for you guys, just be like a snap of the finger. So I'll be back in a very long time or very soon for you. All right, so I am at 90 make the game better prompts using Claude code now, and it's added a ridiculous number of features. I've just been kind of scrolling through as it does it, and I'm just like pacing make the game better, make the game better. For the last 10, I'm going to use Codex, which is ChatGPT, so it has its hand in the pot as well. All right, ChatGPT's first make the game better prompt, and it's adding a pause and resume feature from what I can see here. So it's working on the pause button and it's thinking through how to keep the canvas state constant. So now ChatGPT is trying to figure out how to add and adjust this huge index HTML file by writing a Python script to replace things in the HTML file itself. So I was kind of curious how many lines of code our single file HTML is, and I didn't realize it was still that, but we are at a grand total right now as it stands 5383 lines of code so we're getting there all right so that took forever but we are here now we have prompted ai a hundred times to make our flappy bird game better we started off with gemini claude code picked up a large part of the slack and then we moved on to codex ChatGPT. here is our final game let's go through everything together let's see what works and what doesn't here's our game it has this weird text and i was actually looking through the code just before i started recording pretty sure that is supposed to be emojis we have an entire profile now so you can see coins items owned and then we can see actual statistics and the statistics don't work they do not save from what i can see the shop is allows you to buy birds themes particle effects power-ups pipe skins death effects game modifiers as well so you can add like random gravity or speed mode and all this fun stuff so say we want to add an explosion when you die we can do that with a fire pipe and then we can go to customize and now if we scroll down to particle effects we can put our default we can put our pipe at fire and our death effect as explosion but it looks like you can only select one so it's like pipe skin or death effect which doesn't make a lot of sense but hey it made it better right <laughs> um we also have settings so there is insane hard normal and easy and then the sound effect actually works i don't know what performer sound actually does and then hold to rise is really cool i've been playing around with this a little bit so you can actually just like click down and the bird will rise when you let go it goes down it's a little bit easier than spamming the click button and truthfully to be perfectly transparent the only thing i have done is made easy mode a little bit easier so i can actually show you the actual game so let me buy something in the shop actually no i really did i'll be okay let's buy a bird though do we have enough i i want the heart bird let's let's do the heart bird and then we're going to come back to customize and let's put on our hello i just purchased you okay well listen it is what it is. All right, so let's actually try playing the game. Here's Flappy Bird, the game. The wind is actually really cool. So the wind determines whether you're like closer to the left of the screen or further up ahead. So the wind actually does make a difference. And then also you have like streaks, power-ups, levels, and all sorts of fun stuff. So you can see here, if we get a third one, we're going to get a little streak and we have a combo going on. We're at 14 and we're at a combo of four. I don't know why it's just going to keep comboing. doesn't make a lot of sense, but let's try to get this coin. And if we get to 50, which I have done in testing, we get like the boss and we get like moving pipes and stuff like that, which is fun. Uh, 36. So 36 in the moving pipes, 50 is a boss. Let me try it again. All right, so it took a very long time to get here, but we should have the boss. There you go. Boss incoming, which is apparently like these big moving pipes that you can see. Uh, yeah, we're at 65 now. We're doing well. And the wind actually makes a huge difference. So like when the wind's going against you, you 
slowed down a little bit. It's really, really cool. So we might actually break 100 here. I don't want to... What are your thoughts on this challenge? I got the inspiration from like those photo ones where people are putting in a selfie and they're like, hey, make an exact replica of this. So that idea, but with code making games. Thought it was kind of fun, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. If you want to see other games, whatever you want to comment, drop it down below. Always love to hear from you guys. And if you guys enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe. I convert AI on a daily basis. Like the video, tells the algorithm, hey, I enjoy this type of content. And I want to see more of it because who doesn't want to see more Flappy Bird prompted from AI a hundred times over. And if you guys actually want to play this game, let me know. I'll try to put it somewhere, the code somewhere, so you can actually have some fun with it. That's if someone wants it. Let me let me know in the comments below and I'll upload it. It's like 6,000 lines of code on a single HTML file. I don't know how useful that is, but nonetheless, I have it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video. You're meant to be